What's up everyone? Welcome to the Joel Arsenal YouTube channel, also known as the Non-Stop Whining and Complaining channel. In this one, I am going to complain to you guys about the C-Rat not working properly, and we're going to tear it down and find out what's going on inside. Most of you probably already know what's going on if you've seen my other videos, but this is the video where I'm actually going to tear it apart. I'm also going to complain to you guys about my broken knee, about the weather, about dropping a crash motor mount on my sandblasting cabinet glass window and breaking it, and the battery is going dead on my thermostat in the garage, the pipes freezing up because I haven't been out here because of my broken knee, and so now I have to do a bunch of work to my heater. Before I jump into the whining and complaining, I thought I would remind you guys that I do have a second channel called Lowered Expectations, link in the description below. That is where I post extras, outtakes, and random nonsense. I recently posted a biking video over there, so if you want to check that out, feel free to do so, link in the description below. I also have a Patreon account for anyone who wants to support me in that way, link also in the description below. Let's start with the complaining. The whining and complaining stuff was a little bit of an inside joke, but all that stuff really did happen. So I will go through that a little bit because this video is probably not going to be terribly long and because most of you already know about the C-Rat crankshaft. So uh, let's take a little look at this. This is the glass on my sandblasting cabinet. I was shooting a video about the crash and I was getting some parts down off of the shelf and one of the motor mounts fell landed on the glass and smash. Not a big deal, I can replace that, but it is a little bit annoying. <laughs> complain, complain. Came out here earlier today and I noticed it was quite cold in here. I was getting a bed plate for somebody who wants to buy one, but I can't probably sell it to them because PayPal doesn't work for me. Complain, complain, complain. I noticed it was really cold in here and so I looked at the thermostat Megan's been using the garage and she keeps it cooler because she doesn't work in here, she just parks in here. So I look at the thermostat and it says low on the screen, batteries are low. So I take the, bat the uh, controller, bring it in the house, replace the batteries, come back out and notice that uh, even though I have a backup heater, it was turned all the way down and so it didn't turn on. It has been cold enough here that some of the pipes froze and I think maybe something inside of the water heater froze. It's actually been minus 15 degrees. It's going to minus 20 tomorrow, I believe. So I'm gonna be turning the back up heater on. I don't have it on right now because it's very noisy and I don't like filming with it on. But uh, I'm gonna to have to turn that on to make sure I thaw out all the pipes. Then I'm gonna to have to move my toolbox, pull this wall off and get access to my uh, tankless water heater that heats the floor. Also, this is the weather, complain, complain. We've had lots of snow, lots and lots of snow. It's been minus 15 degrees Celsius and it is going to minus 20 tomorrow. So yeah, that's something to complain about. Saturday, I went out to uh, start my truck because it hasn't been running a while. I was gonna drive somewhere and <laughs> I go out to my truck and somebody tried to break into it. Uh, I don't think they were successful. All the stuff seems to be in my truck, although I can't get into it now. They pulled the door lock out of the truck. My key fob doesn't work because it broke years ago and the passenger side lock doesn't work because it never gets used so it's seized up. So. That's all the stuff that I can think about complaining about right now. My knee's actually doing quite well. Got more good news about that. Maybe I'll talk about that at the end of the video. But anyway, let's uh, get into the sea rat I'll complain to you guys about what's going on with it. I'm actually gonna pull the stator cover off first, or kind of look in there at least, and see maybe, 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 the starter bendix got stuck engaged but very likely this thing seized up internally. I'm guessing that some bearings went in the crank and I'm hoping that it didn't damage the case, but we're gonna find out. Now we burned about two thirds of the tank fuel. That's not too shabby. All right, I actually don't know if I can get the stator cover off inside of the hull because of the way the fuel tank sits in here. 
Yeah, that's a pretty tight fit. I'm gonna take the exhaust off and give it a try anyway. I'm not gonna give up that easily. So uh, let's see what we can do here. All right, 10 millimeter wrench now and see how many of these bolts I can get in. It's literally taken me this long and I'm ready to take the engine out. I've got 10% battery left, so hopefully it doesn't die in the middle of this. I've decided just to take the engine out because it's really tight to get at the front of the stator and I'm guessing the engine's gonna have to come out anyway, so let's just uh, stop struggling and take it out. Okay, that will make everything much easier. It looks like I did in fact disconnect everything. Not surprised about that. Place your bet in the comments below. Minor problem or major seizure? My guess is major seizure. I'm guessing that we have, <laughs> oh, there's water in there. A substantial amount of water in there. I'm guessing that the crank bearing seized. Oh no, <laughs> I was right. <laughs> that engine is stuck. It has nothing to do with the bending. The Bendix is engaged because it uh, tried to start and it couldn't. Tell you what folks, that glue takes a serious bite. That stuff is no joke. All right, now I need to see if I can actually get the cylinder off because I used that same glue on the base. We've got a little tiny bit of corrosion in the cylinders here. <laughs> uh, and that's not even with salt water, that's fresh water. Let's see if I can get these jugs to come off. It appears that one or more of the pistons might be slightly stuck. Definitely not the center one. There's a lot of play there. There's a lot of play on this one as well, but it seems that maybe the crank is stuck and this piston is a little bit stuck, or the rings. I'm having to resort to kind of prying on the cylinder which with a screwdriver, which I'm not very happy about. I don't like doing that. Yeah, <laughs> it's making some funny noises. Okay, wow, that took forever. I don't see any major damage to the cylinder. Oh, it actually, <laughs> oh, it bent the connecting rod. Oh, we got so lucky, if you want to call it that. Oh man, we got lucky. Wow, it actually broke the skirt. <clears throat> broke the skirt and completely bent the connecting rod. 
And that's why the cylinder wouldn't come off because this rod is actually being forced over to one side. And what stopped it from turning was the connecting rod was actually hitting the crank. Unfortunately, something went wrong with the GoPro, and so I didn't capture the footage of me removing the crankshaft, but the good news is that the cases are not damaged. This is the top case, this is the PTO side, which would be the one that would be damaged, and there is no marks in there whatsoever. And the same is true for the lower case, which this is usually the one that gets damaged if anything does, so got lucky there. The crankshaft was already basically garbage on this thing, so it needed a rebuild anyway. So basically I'm no further ahead or behind. The crankshaft needs to be rebuilt. I've already showed you guys the Sea Rat crankshaft in other videos, as well as my other graveyard crankshafts. I do have a hydraulic press now and I'm going to be rebuilding these at some time. Fortunately, I am an incredibly talented YouTuber and I'm going to be able to take care of all these problems by myself with the exception of the weather and my knee. Can't do anything about the weather, the knee is actually doing pretty well and we'll talk about that a little more in a few seconds. The sea rat crankshaft, the sandblasting cabinet window, the heater in my garage and the door lock on my truck are all things that I can take care of with a little bit of time and money, so I will get them sorted out. As far as the knee goes, I was to see the doctor yesterday and they're really happy with the progress that I've been making. They want to see me back in three weeks. They increased the intensity of my exercises and gave me different ones. And if I'm still having pain and tightness at that point, they're going to send me to get an MRI, but they fully expect at that point that they will be increasing the intensity of my workouts again so that I can make a full recovery. If you guys want to support me on Patreon, you can do so. There is a link in the description below. If you want to see extras, outtakes, and random nonsense, there is a link in the description below to my second channel which is called Lowered Expectations. I just released a video over there, a biking video, which is fairly short and I'm actually kind of proud of it. Most of the videos over there don't get a lot of editing, but this one actually got a bunch. It's a video of uh, Stephanie, and I, Stephanie and I out riding bikes, so if you want to see that, go check it out. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Now I'm going to turn some heat on here because I can see my breath. Thank you.